This is to put on a golf club uh, to protect it when you're golfing. Uh, we got several of these pretty cheap. I don't know. I think we bought them for like 50 cents. And this one sold for $10 because we took an offer. I think I had like 18 and he was like, can you sell this for $10? And I was like, sure. So 10 bucks, pretty good. This is a handmade wool rug. Um, I do believe it's Persian. It's called a Gabba rug. G-A-B-B-E-H and it's the kind of rug where they put little animals like colorful animals and we actually have these around our house so here's one that you can see part of um, I think we have three or four of these rugs just because they're so cool and colorful so whenever I see things like this I grab them so this is kind of like a wall hanging or something you would put on a table and it sold for $60. And I have a matching one that's red um, that hopefully will sell also. So I'm a bit of a tile nerd. I buy tiles and sell them a lot. I also love to buy tiles to use in my house. Um, so I definitely understand it when someone is buying tiles on eBay. Now this tile is quite old, I believe. Um, it is made of very thick, like, stoneware. It has a signature in the corner that says Volga. You can see right here. Right here is the signature, Volga. And I searched for Volga tile makers, or just Volga with tile, and I could not find anything that had to do with like an old tile maker. So I listed this today um, for $150. And within minutes, I had an offer on it. This lady offered $75, and I countered at $130, and she paid it. So um, clearly, this is something that is rare, but I also just think I had someone who was looking for it as well. So maybe it would have taken a while to sell if this person wasn't actively looking for it. But it's definitely a cool piece. It sold within 10 minutes of me listing it, which sometimes is a sign. Maybe you have something really rare, but, um, you know, tiles like this generally go for, you know, they can go for 200 to $300, but um, this one's a little bit damaged and I couldn't find anything associated with the name. So, you know, for me, $130 is a great price. These are two vintage hard shell briefcases. Um, I just started to pack them, so I forgot to pull them out and videotape them, but one is blue, one is green, one has foam in it, one is just like a document briefcase. And they're going to the same guy, and he messaged us this morning and said, would you combine shipping? And I said, yes. And he bought both of them. One sold for 50 and one sold for 40 so that's $90. So that was a great sale to start the morning off. This is a vintage uh, bowl to hold nuts. Um, it's a double bowl. So that would hold the nuts, and then these, you'd use the mallet to hold all the shells. And it has a thing on the back that says it's made by California Redwood. Hopefully it's just made out of cedar, not anything endangered. Um, and this sold for $50. This is a vintage wool fedora hat. You can tell it's definitely vintage. You can see the Union Made in the USA tag in the back there. Um, it is missing the feathers, so someone's going to have to glue some feathers on or put a new band on so it doesn't look so junky. Uh, it's still a cute hat. I think I had this up for $36 and someone offered $25 and we took the offer. These are a pair of riding boots. They're actual, like, professional riding boots. Um, I actually got two pairs of these, exact same size, at Goodwill one day. 
Um, this is one of those times where we just popped into Goodwill just to see if anything was going on. And we found these for cheap. I think boots there are like four bucks. So I had these up for I think $1.99 each. And someone offered $75. And finally, we negotiated and got to 110. So these sold for 110, and I really hope they do not get returned to me because I've had boots like this returned to me because they don't fit. So 110 is a great sale for spending four or five bucks. This is a vintage men's Sears uh, faux fur lined. The liner comes out leather jacket, probably from the 70s. Uh, we had this up, I think, for $65, and someone offered $55, so we took that offer. Cold jacket. These are a pair of women's Brighton brand shoes. It's like a kind of fancy boutique place that I've seen at malls before, <laughs> although I didn't know that when I bought them. Uh, I bought these for $2. They sold for $37. They're a little bit worn. They have a little bit of water marks on the bottom, but they are all leather soles, so they're kind of nice. These are a pair of vintage suspenders um, with this bar called Gillies in Pasadena, Texas. Um, Jay freaked out when he saw these because he's from Houston and he's like, I know Gillies. So we definitely got them. Um, they're really nice. They look like they've never really been worn. They have this back part that's leather. So they're pretty good quality. Um, and I put them up for $30 and they sold. So that's a great price for some suspenders. This is a vintage women's church hat. Probably from the 50s. It's cute, but I've had it forever. I think I had it up for $24. They offered $20, and I said yes. So I'm happy that it sold. These are a pair of vintage Anne Klein clip-on earrings. Um, the cool thing is they came on the original like tag, and um, this is her lion logo, which a lot of people love. Um, they are just clip-ons, but I think I bought them for like two or three dollars, and I sold them for thirty-six ninety-nine. They're really cute. Now I love this little coffee mug, travel mug, because it's small. Oftentimes when I'm going out, I don't want to bring a ton of coffee with me, so this is an eight ounce. So when I saw this at the thrift store, I thought someone else is going to want this size too. And I think it's kind of a rare size to find. Um, the other thing about it is it is Starbucks. Um, it's all made in the USA and it's from 1998. So relative to all things, that's pretty vintage for Starbucks. It's probably one of the original mugs that they had in their national stores. So I know that people collect Starbucks, and I put this up for $25, and it sold. This is a pair of antique round spectacles, glasses. You can see one side is cracked. Um, it did come from Amsterdam, as you can also see. Um, these seem to be very popular. I think we paid a euro for them, so basically like a little over a dollar. And they are not gold filled, they're just regular metal. But these did sell for $80. This is some vintage fabric with a fairy tale Hansel and Gretel on it. Um, it's not a very big piece of fabric, it is almost two yards, a little under two yards. Um, I've had this for a couple of years, and it has a bunch of marks on it, like you can see. There's some marks, um, there's some fading on it too, but if you isolate the pattern, you would be able to use it. Now, I sold it for $36.99, um, and I had 37 people watching it. But despite having that many watchers, it took forever to sell, so I'm glad it finally sold. 
This is a vintage wooden uh, desk tray. It's really pretty. Um, we always sell these, so we always get them when we see them. This sold to a set decorator, so that's kind of perfect. And it sold for $40. Another trophy sold. You can see it's just like an angel lady. And uh, last week on the video, people were asking why anyone would buy a trophy like this. Um, and what I think is, since it's blank here, someone could get an engraving put here to customize it. Or some people just think it's cool, or they are hipsters and they want to, you know, give out thrift store trophies to people for kickball or something like that. Um, but this one sold for 20 bucks. This is a very bright red vintage uh, JCPenney sweater with a little fox guy on it. Um, we had it up for $25. They, uh, someone offered $22, and we said yes. It's just acrylic, um, but it's definitely very 70s slash 80s. This is a vintage light fixture for a vanity or something like that. Uh, this glass is really cool. It's got a nice shape to it. The... The fixture part is a little bit rusty with some paint on it, but this person did not seem to care about that. And it sold for $40. This is a lot of 49 train magazines. Now I know there are lots of people who are train nerds, so Jay bought these, I don't know, for just a couple bucks. And I sold them for less than a dollar a piece. I sold them for $40, and there are 49 magazines. So the cool thing is I listed them, and then they sold about a day later. Good sale. Now this is a very old, probably from the 1800s, um, silverware box. So you can see it's that old tiger oak pattern. Someone had this super old-fashioned like label with their name written on the front the handles missing this is kind of messed up but the inside is very cool so it's a pretty fancy brand called J.E. Caldwell um, if you look up their sales for silver on eBay they're quite high I've never seen something with this kind of pattern. A lot of times it's just like an empty chest with like drawers or something like that. But this is so neat. Um, I listed this the other day for $199 best offer. And then, you know, in a few hours someone offered me 100 And I countered with 150 and they countered with 130 So 130 is what I sold it for. Um, it's kind of in rough shape in some respects, but it is quite a rare find and totally beautiful. So I'm happy with 130, certainly. This is an odd, random assortment of dollhouse utensils and kitchen stuff. Um, you can see it's very small. It's kind of cute, little Dutch people. Um, we had this up for $30, and we took an offer of 25 and this was found in a box lot and an auction. It was just like this random box of stuff. I'm sure we were bidding on one thing and all this stuff was in there. And it's kind of cool and cute and weird. But someone wanted it for $25. This is a lovely thick green glass vintage um, Italian steamship ashtray. Uh, I sold one of these last week as well. Um, this was another one that I got from the same collection, and it sold for $25. This is the Henkel's knife. It's a 6-inch chef knife. It's actually quite large. It, it's bigger than I thought it was uh, from the photos. And we probably got it for $0.50 cents to a dollar, and it sold for $40. So I've been having a lot of good luck just selling individual bangles. Um, I think I've shown a few in the last few videos. Um, 
This bangle, it's not Bakelite, but it is kind of that butterscotch amber color. I'm not sure what it's made out of. It might just be plastic. But I did just advertise it as a uh, plastic lucite type of thing, butterscotch colored, which I think people are interested in just as its own color. This sold for $15 all by itself. And I've had really good luck with just random bangles selling as well. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for these. This is a lacrosse helmet. Um, we find these a lot at the thrift store and at flea markets. Not for very much, a couple bucks. And they always sell hockey helmets, hockey masks, lacrosse masks. They always sell. This sold for $50. That's a great sale. This is a cute uh, hand-tooled leather uh, book cover. And you can see it's got a little bookmark on the inside, too. And it does say Mancraft Leather. I don't know how much we got this for. Not very much. It might have even come in a box lot. I'm not sure. But it sold for $30. This is a vintage leather weightlifter's belt. Um, it's leather lined. Still in good shape. Uh, it's not cracked or anything. It's in good shape for the leather. We find these all the time. And I hesitate buying them because I'm just like, oh, we find them all the time. But they always sell. So I need to get over it and just buy them when I see them. This one's particularly nice. It's padded. It sold to someone on Global Shipping, and it sold for $40. So I need to remember that next time I see a weight belt that I should buy it. I actually bought this necklace thinking it could potentially be real coral, which is worth a lot of money. Um, but it's not. It's imitation coral. It's glass beads made in India. Um, and the way I found this was... I did a Google image search. They felt like glass to me. Um, I didn't know what real coral feels like. So I thought, you know, these really feel like glass. So I searched for glass coral beads. And some website had a picture of these same ones and said they were made in India. So I put them up for $80. And I got an offer of $40. <laughs> and I took it. Because I was happy to sell it for, you know, more than how much I bought it for, which was about 5 to $8. These are vintage 1960s, 1970s gold sandals. These are a pair of sandals that we've had pretty much since the beginning. We've had them for a long time, and they never sold. So they sold yesterday for $10. So I'm glad someone wants them. This is a vintage 60s or 70s uh, corduroy jacket, men's jacket. Again, man style. Uh, it's got a metal zipper, so that definitely means it's vintage. And this sold for $40. These are a pair of Rocco P for Barney's uh, shoes. And I had them listed for 120 I sold them once before and someone returned them because they didn't fit. So this time I took an offer of 100 so I'm very happy with that. Hopefully these fit this person and they do not get returned. They're very, very cool. This is an Arizona Diamondbacks hat. It's wool. Um, this is kind of cool, metallic. It's their old logo, so it's a little more rare. And this hat sold for $40. I am slowly getting rid of my women's blazers because they do not sell very often. Uh, I took an offer of $12.50 on this. Uh, it's a pretty cool 80s look. It sold to someone in Brooklyn. Um, but yeah, I'm glad it sold. This is a women's merino wool J. Crew sweater. I've had it for a while. So I took an offer of $20 on it. This is a new with tags uh, rodeo shirt. Very colorful. Um, this is a part of the lot of shirts that Jay listed. And this sold for $50. This is a vintage Hilda 
Icelandic sweater. Sold to someone in Minnesota. That makes sense. Um, there are a couple small holes like here. It's still a great sweater. It's one of those sweaters that just you work in, you, you know, hike in because it's just like super thick and warm. Uh, we took an offer of 30 because of the holes and uh, that's still a pretty good price for a sweater. Now this was an amazing sale that happened last night right before we went to bed. This is a cowboy duster uh, oil skins of Australia. It's an oiled cotton jacket. These can go for a lot of money if they're in very good shape. Um, this one's kind of rough. You can see there's like lots of crinkles and stuff. It's still oiled um, and it's still, you know, wearable. And it does have a cool rustic look. And it sold for the full price of $175. So I was very happy for that sale. And it's going to someone in the UK through Global Shipping Program. These are a pair of vintage naturalizer shoes. They have leather soles. And um, we took an offer of $30. We've had these for a long time, so I was happy that they sold. These are vintage Don Ho Polynesian Palace drink glasses, uh, whiskey glasses. Uh, there are a million of these on eBay, so... Uh, I did not think I would sell these very fast, and I didn't. I've had them for a couple of years, but they sold for $27. So there is a book called The Official Preppy Manual uh, that came out in 1980. And it's funny because we found that book uh, at a thrift store in town. And then a few weeks later at another thrift store in town, I found these three mugs. And at this thrift store, they give away mugs for free. Uh, because they get so many of them, so I got them in the free mug box. <laughs> and I knew that they were something because there's that book. Um, so I listed these the other day, and they sold for $50. This is a leather holster for a Colt pistol. Quite nice, if it would focus. Um, this sold for $37, and usually we only get these for a couple bucks. This is a military camelback. It's one of the rare few that were new uh, with tags that we got out of the military auction that we bought. We bought a bunch of camelbacks. Um, <clears throat> I had this up for $86, and then I had it on sale for $60, and then we took an offer of $40. We've had it for a couple years, so $40 is fine. This is a hilarious, super 1980s kind of tropical shirt. Again, part of the big shirt lot and it sold for $20. And it's a Wrangler. Coolers by Wrangler. <laughs> this is a vintage Sears uh, NFL youth jacket. This is a wool blend and this is vinyl. It's kind of a letterman jacket. You can see it's got the Eagles logo. Um, pretty cool looking. I put a high price on this because uh, in the past I've sold these for a lot of money. So this one sold for $150. Uh, they didn't even make a best offer or anything. They just pulled the trigger. So that was a great sale. So two more knives sold. Uh, they're both Henkel's knives. One is a carving knife or a chef's knife, just a general knife that most people have. And then this one I think is a uh, fish gutting knife, or you can use it for anything really. This knife right here by itself sold for $40. And then this knife, which is a little more specialized, sold for $50. So somebody just spent $90 on two knives, which is a great sale for us. We are thrilled because we get knives for 50 cents a pop sometimes, maybe a dollar at most. There are definitely guys and girls who are into tools. So this is a nice Stanley Bostitch hat. This is all embroidered. It's kind of cool. It's got this like logo along the side. And this sold for $20.